Every year we discover more about our world, whether it's about what it currently holds, what it once held, or whatever is going on in the vastness of space, and a lot of it is absolutely shocking, whether in a positive or negative way. From huge scientific advancements to some discoveries that give us insight to what life was once like, we've got some pretty cool things to talk about today as we cover the top 10 discoveries in history that left people stunned. Before I dive into this list, you guys, I want to talk to you about today's video sponsor, Magellan TV. Magellan TV is a documentary streaming service that really does have it all. While Magellan TV has documentaries on everything from history to science to nature and even space, it also has one of the most extensive true crime catalogs available on a streaming service, which for me, as a true crime lover, has me filling all of my spare time with the spooky scary documentaries of my dreams. There are already so many options to choose from, but new titles get added each week, so there really is something on there for everyone. Magellan TV is also ad free, which I don't even have to tell you is just the best. The first documentary I watched when I started my Magellan TV subscription was The Family Inside the Manson Cult, and I truly have not stopped thinking about it since. You get the real life interviews with people who were actually there and a part of this insane cult, including interviews with Linda Kasabian, who is the getaway driver on the fateful night and had never even given an interview about it before. You also get really good reenactments, so you feel like you're being transported there with them. This is all to say you need to click the link in the description box and check Magellan TV out because you don't want to miss out on them. And since you guys are just simply the best, Magellan TV wants to give you a one month free trial to check out their awesome services and all you have to do is click that little link in the description box, but it's for a limited time only. So what are you waiting for? All right, let's get into this list. Starting off in our number 10 spot, we have DNA. In the 1860s, Swiss chemist Johann Frederick Meister was able to give a name to the molecule that is now known as DNA, which set up huge and very important scientific advancements to come. He initially set out to research white blood cells, which are of course a very key component of our immune system. When he carried out experiments that required adding salt solutions, he noticed that once he added acid, a substance separated from the solution. At first, he thought he had discovered something that was coming from the nucleus of the cell, and while he knew it was an important discovery, he had no idea just how important. He was a major perfectionist, however, so he was quite hesitant to tell others of his findings, so it was a few decades until his discovery was fully appreciated by the scientific community. After this, scientists were able to research further what he had discovered to give us all our much better understanding of DNA that we now have. Those scientists include people like Albrecht Kosel, who in 1881 was able to isolate the five nucleotide bases that are the building blocks of DNA. Or Walter Fleming, who discovered a fibrous structure within the nucleus of the cell, which he named chromatin, but we now know as chromosomes. This is all to say that Johann's almost accidental discovery changed science forever, and not only was the discovery a shock to the scientific community, but also to Johann himself. In our number 9 spot today we have penicillin. As it turns out, penicillin, which is an antibiotic that has saved most of us a lot of pain and suffering, was a bit of an accidental discovery, so it was a shock to both the world and the guy who created it. In 1928, Scottish biologist Alexander Fleming was returning home from a vacation. When he returned home and went back to work, he found a petri dish that he had left dirty was full of bacteria and mold, as I'm sure we would all expect it to be. With this gross discovery, however, came the realization that the bacteria was everywhere except for where the mold was. After some further testing and further research, he realized that the mold was responsible for killing off this bacteria, and he was able to identify the mold as being from the genus Penicillium. This is what led to further testing and creation of the most used antibiotic, which is incredibly effective at curing a wide variety of bacterial ailments. In our number eight spot today, we have bacteria resistance. Okay, so aside from penicillin, there are an array of other antibiotics and vaccines vaccines that have been created that have not only helped us survive as a human race, but have also improved our quality and length of life. This is all amazing and truly helpful, but the scientists who study things like this also made a scary discovery that while these treatments are doing great work, there are some microbes who are working just as hard and they might be evolving faster than we can fight them. This is why the flu shot is created.
updated yearly as the previous shot is ineffective against next year's bug. Or why hospitals are seeing some people have a simple cut turn into a potentially limb or even life threatening situation because of the antibiotic resistant staph bacteria. Or how there are illnesses jumping from animals to humans, or even how tuberculosis is seemingly making a comeback. These kinds of discoveries are extremely important because it can help us calculate next steps, but it's also incredibly frightening because while we might still be ahead for now, how long is that really gonna last? In our number 7 spot today we have electricity. Many people will credit Ben Franklin with the discovery of electricity as many of us have heard of his little kite experiment. In this experiment he wanted to prove that lightning was electricity so he tied a metal key to a kite during a lightning storm and sure enough, just as he thought, electricity from the storm clouds transferred to the kite and flowed down the string to give him a little shock. I mean, this is a video called discoveries in history that left people stunned and I think it left electric shock definitely counts as someone being stunned. This led to many other scientists being able to build upon his work and discovery which all led us to where we are now. I mean who would have thought that a key on a kite would have helped me film this video with these lights and this camera? There has been evidence that ancient people may have dabbled in electricity themselves, but the extent of it is very much a mystery. Talking about this little experiment is certainly not to undermine the work and intelligence of those who came before Benjamin because that work is just as important. In our number 6 spot today we have ancient cave art. Just a few short years ago, researchers were in a cave in Sulawesi, Indonesia when they found some cave paintings. This wouldn't have been a discovery that we would have put on this list until it was realized that this cave art was actually 44,000 years old, making it some of the oldest art that has ever been found. The art depicts some types of buffalo as well as wild pigs, and there are some human-like figures that appear as well, but they are way smaller and also have some animalistic characteristics characteristics such as tails and snouts. It appears as though it is some sort of hunting scene, but it is also unclear whether these paintings were made to represent a single story or if they were a series of images made over a course of time. While this painting is not the oldest art we've ever found, if it does in fact depict one single scene, it would be the oldest story ever found. In our number 5 spot today we have this ancient sword. We've all heard the story of Excalibur, but in 2018 an 8 year old girl had basically the same experience, only a little different. This little girl was playing in a Swedish lake when she stepped on something that felt kind of like a stick. She of course bent down to pick it up and she said she was going to put it back in the water, but once she saw a handle and a pointy bit at the end, she instead held it up and said, Daddy, look, I found a sword. Of course her dad came rushing over and grabbed it from her. Once scientists got a look at the sword she found, they were able to date it back at least 1000 years, saying that it could could even be from somewhere around the 5th or 6th century AD, which would place it even before the Viking era by a few hundred years. After another artifact from around the same time period was found in the same area, it drew scientists to the possible conclusion that perhaps this was once an area of sacrifice. For a while the little girl had to keep her discovery a secret and only told her best friend, but once the news broke she was allowed to tell all of her classmates and her teacher, who threw the class a party where they watched and listened to all of her radio and TV interviews she did about her amazing discovery. In the number 4 spot today we have the ancient shipwreck. In 2018 a team of researchers were searching an area of the Black Sea when they stumbled upon a shipwreck. While this is of course interesting, it's not exactly the most shocking thing to find a shipwreck in the sea, but here's the thing. This shipwreck is now believed to be the oldest ever found, dating back to around 400 BC and it was found still intact despite the 2400 years it's been. The mast, the rudder, the rowing benches, and even some of the ship's contents were still intact just waiting to be discovered. Apparently part of the reason for the preserval because of the fact that the water in the depths of the Black Sea is anoxic or free of oxygen, which is something that I am shocked to discover. The ship is extremely similar to the one depicted on the Siren Vase which is located in the British Museum. 
One of the researchers on the team who located the wreck explained that it's like another world. It's when the remote operated vehicle drops down through the water column and you see this ship appear in the light at the bottom so perfectly preserved it feels like you step back in time. In our number 3 spot today we have an early human jawbone. The discovery of a human jawbone completely threw off what scientists and researchers once had mapped out as the timeline for when it was once believed that the early humans left Africa. Before this discovery, the oldest Homo sapien fossil that had ever been found outside of Africa was estimated to be somewhere from 90,000 to 120,000 years old, which helped to create some sort of timeline of how things for the early humans might have gone. Just a few short years ago, however, scientists found an upper left jawbone in a cave in Israel, and they were able to date these remains back 177,000 to 194,000 years ago, suggesting that humans humans may have migrated out of Africa 50,000 years earlier than what was once believed. It was a huge discovery that only takes us a step closer to learning the origins of our human race. This is just one example that highlights the changes in beliefs and views on our evolutionary origins and our migration throughout the old world all those years ago. In our number 2 spot today we have the earth orbits the sun. This is something that I still think even today people have a hard time wrapping their heads around and that is that the earth is not the center of our universe. I am. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Standing on the earth feels so stable and stationary, so it feels so hard to believe that we could be orbiting around something and not the other way around. But alas, it is true. When Copernicus proposed that the planets orbit the sun, his colleagues and peers thought he was losing his mind bringing up such an absurd idea. Even Galileo years later got the same kind of grief for bringing up the idea and he was able to provide evidence for his theory. Still, people were just not having it. Of course, part of this was the church and the scripture which claimed that the sun revolved around the earth, but let's leave the religious beliefs to the church and the science to scientists. Everything that goes on in space truly is very hard to conceptualize and really wrap your head around, so I do understand the hesitancy to just change the way of thinking, but we have had hundreds of years to kind of mull it over, so I feel like we should really be all on the same page now. In our number one spot today we have the ingredients of the universe. To piggyback off of the last space point, we have the discovery of what space is made out of. A concept I've really never sat down to think about, but one that now has me spiraling into the abyss. So when we think of space, we usually think first of planets, stars, galaxies, dust, black holes, you know, space stuff. But what happens when a scientist lets you know that all of that stuff only makes up about 4% of what is in space? Well, you start spiraling like me, because what is the rest? Well, to answer that, around 20% of the universe is dark matter. I don't know what that is, but scientists have a bit of an idea. Well, Olivia, that's still not totaling to 100%, so what else is out there? Well, most amazing top 10 viewer, apparently the rest is dark energy. And here's the worst part about that. Your guess on what that is is just as good as mine, and the scientists guess is only more educated, but still, no one really knows. So now, maybe, if you didn't previously know this, you'll also be on a trip to Spiral Town just like me. The discovery of dark energy combined with the lack of answers on what it could be is, to me, about as shocking as it gets. Alright guys, that has been our list for today. Thank you so much for checking it out. I've been your host today, Olivia Kozolowski. Let me know down below in the comments if any of these were shocking to you. And also, don't forget to click that link in the description box and check out Magellan TV. Bye! <laughs>